Hello everyone. Welcome back to your channel. If you are visiting to your channel for a first time, then this is my small introduction. I'm thankful for each and every member because it's just you and just you who is helping me and this channel to grow. I thoroughly enjoy learning and sharing software development languages and technologies with you. It's a mission which I am trying to drive to share knowledge with everyone whose aim is to establish career in software. Please keep watching, sharing and motivating others to subscribe to your channel. Also press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Thank you. Let's start learning. So today we are going to talk about the one of the very interesting and important topic that is govern a limit monitoring. Govern and limits we have already discussed in the previous session. Today we are going to talk about the monitoring. Govern and monitoring is very important because if you hit the governor limit, you will not be able to handle it. That means govern limit errors are generated at the runtime, which cannot be handled in exception. And as we all know, the best practice of the governor limit, I mean, to avoid the governor limit is to write your code as per the Salesforce suggested best practices. But what if, if you want to monitor to avoid any governor limit or you want to uh, debug so that you can, you know, you can uh, restructure your code or you can, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, avoid any future governor limits error. So today we are going to talk about the same and I'm going to demo you the both of the possible ways. I will be writing a code which will be absolutely not as per the best practices. I will first, I will show you the the issue with the kernel limit. And then I will also show you how to monitor your governor limit errors. Let us see. So I am creating my Twitter and uh, my trigger okay and here what i'm creating first list of um Queries are not allowed in your loop. But as I said, this is not as per the best practice. Intention is to show the, the government limit monitoring and the, the government limit error. So that's why I am I am uh, you know writing the code in this way. Okay, let me go here and uh, let me open the console. Now, first of all,
these queries and everything I have already discussed. This is available in the playlist, and uh, you, you you will find the playlist in the, your I button, right hand side, topmost section. There will be an I button. You can refer with uh, the playlist from there. Now, what I'm expecting is a govern limit error. Let's see. Say you got this error too many SQL queries, one not one. Right? Because it's getting the record. Okay. Let us see now. So there is no new log open because there's a there was a the governor limit, right? And due to which the op, uh, it, uh, we were unable to insert any account. Okay, now let's resolve this. Okay, and parallelly, just to monitor your uh, governor limit, I am adding. I am adding a limit class. Now, as soon as you will put your dot here. You will see n number of uh, you know the uh, the functions. The each function have a you know a, a purpose with a return type and what kind of a data it will return. So it will you know, it will return integer and aggregate queries, your call out, your your uh, DML statements. So let's use a DML statement here. Okay, limits are and uh, if you want to see the query. Because we will see the, the query error as well. So queries, okay. And because it, it has a return type, so we have to we have to create a variable to store. The, the value written by this function, okay? So limits class we will use and the, the get queries function, okay? Now system.debug.
HTML font system dot table query top. Okay. Saved. Going back to your minuscule block and uh, execute highlighted. Okay. Go here. Deeper for me. So DML count is one. Query count is hundred. Right. And this is the way you can monitor your your governor limit. Okay. Uh, one more way we have is going into user option. So you will go into the user object. And uh, for that user, here is the option we have, send Apex warning email. Check this checkbox. Now, before you know, I will, I will click save. Let me show you one thing. Before that, let me, let's see. Uh, let me do one thing. Because I have to show you email. So as you can see, here the count is fifty nine, right? Okay. No new, no, no new email we have received, right? So I am now saving this. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, checking this checkbox, and this will also uh, give me the count of how much you know the. Uh, the governor limit uh, we have consumed. So basically, this email got get triggers when we consume the the governor limit more than fifty percent. Okay. So going back here, again here, and in the in here, and let me first of all wait. Okay. And now, as you can see, no new email. Okay, it's 59. I'm clicking execute. Debug only one and, and uh, one and hundred, right? And as you can see, 60 now. So let me open that email. I am sharing now. And now I'm sharing my screen again to show you the email. But what kind of email actually we we get? See. Okay. This is the email. So number of queries you have consumed? 100 out of 100. Correct. So this is the way you can, uh, you know, these are the two ways you, in which you can uh, consume uh, your government limit and, and you can monitor uh, your government limits. Uh, and, you know, the uh, both are the very good way to avoid any government limit error uh, because for sure you will be writing your code as well as best practices, but still, uh, it's always good to, you know, to handle uh, the, uh, I mean, the possibility of the runtime errors, especially the, the government limit errors. Uh, in in your you know uh, before you move into production, and for that these are the best ways. Uh, let's say if some user is trying to perform some operation, and then due to the operation you are you are, uh, you have consumed more than fifty percent of your governor limit, then uh, you have to go. I mean, the best way is to you can go into the uh, that particular user, check the checkbox which I have shown you. And uh, you will again avoid hitting the governor limit. Okay. 
because you will get an idea that okay this particular user is uh, consuming in the uh, and so and so and so much number of you know the government limit and now i can avoid the government limit by restructuring the code or by doing some you know uh, troubleshooting so hope you have enjoyed the session and uh, keep sharing your channel among your connections so that more and more people can learn and can you know ever uh, uh, enjoy don't forget to put thumbs up by clicking the like button and in the next session we will be bringing a new topic till then keep learning stay safe bye take care